so in this video i am going to completely explain in and out of uh, how this inverter is going to work uh, for you and i am going to unbox uh, this uh, sokuma solar sokuma inverter, inverter. Uh, it is one of the one of the world's class uh, inverter and uh, it is having an intelligent uh, charging capability and it can charge uh, even at uh, 90 volts uh, input and uh, it is having a dual function it can operate both on uh, grid power as well as uh, solar power and it is having a complete uh, this dual uh, feature in, in its nature and it is a more uh, budget friendly uh, appliances and very efficient uh, in power saving for your home. So let us understand how uh, this uh, solar inverter is made up of. Right? And this is a six stage uh, battery charging technology test and it is in one of the latest world, ca world class technology being used in the uh, Superma solar inverter and uh, if you have any problem you can call this uh, toll free number. So here, here you can see that this is the, uh, uh, where uh, it converts uh, the DC into AC where you can connect uh, uh, to external uh, output where you can connect it to your uh, AC devices and you have a tripper here you have a tripper here and uh, which will get uh, cut uh, when uh, there is a uh, short circuit happens or if it is uh, going to take a heavy load there and it is going to trip up itself so that uh, to avoid the damage to the circuit and we have various uh, options available here uh, which you can set it uh, and, uh, we have this wire uh, we have this wire which is uh, temporary sensors and we have uh, uh, air cooler and uh, we have in this inverter we have the two uh, options where you can uh, use this inverter for both uh, as i said earlier you can use this one is for normal uh, uh, DC to AC and as well as you can connect uh, to uh, solar panels as well so we have this option and uh, you can connect up to 400 uh, watts panels uh, uh, once you connect the solar panels you can uh, connect those uh, terminals here and when it uh, get terminals then uh, you will see the power is uh, getting uh, converted into AC here and there is a uh, one more uh, if you can see here if you connect from the solar panels uh, to here and if you made a reverse connection from the solar panel uh, then this light will be get close that I am going to demo it in a short while uh, and this is these are the two these are the two um, positive and negative terminals which we need to connect it to the battery uh, 12 volts battery uh, that would uh, help us to charge the power which is coming from the AC supply or power which is coming from the solar panel ok we will give a demo how to connect to the battery and as well how to connect from the solar panel to the uh, I am going to demo now First, we need to take uh, positive terminals, uh, positive terminal of the uh, inverter, and I need to con uh, connect to the positive terminal of the battery. So, positive terminal of the battery is this one, and uh, he will be uh, connecting with the the bolts like this. So, we'll have bolts like this, and uh, we should just first connect it the positive. Terminal like this. And ensure that uh, you tighten uh, uh, very properly and uh, without uh, 
I mean, we need looseness in this so that uh, uh, the claim doesn't happen and it will, it will also charge uh, properly. Right? You tighten uh, in such a way that uh, uh, you get uh, no sparks in this. So, so yeah, tighten uh, completely. So, if you can see here, uh, you have tightened the positive. Now, you need to take uh, uh, negative terminal uh, of the inverter. Negative terminal of the inverter, which is in black in color, and I need to convert, connect, connect, uh, connect to negative set of the battery. See if you can see here, you can see the spark, right? And the inverter is also making a noise, that means the motor is working. Now let's connect it, uh, uh, this uh, negative side, and if a little spark happens, and it's connecting, right? And uh, you connect uh, with the ports and ensure that uh, you tie it properly. Now we have taken uh, the battery. And you are connected the battery to the uh, the inverter to the battery. Now, now let's connect uh, solar uh, panel uh, wires, positive and negative terminals. Then we'll see how it works. These are the two terminals which is coming out of uh, from the solar panels. So I'm trying to connect. Even if you don't remember what is positive and negative, still uh, this inverter can easily identify you whether you are connected properly or not. Go in there. Now if, if you go this one here and uh, if you connected uh, this one, you can see here, uh, you see, so you are seeing the red line there, uh, which is uh, indication of, uh, see there, if you can see here, it said there is a red light, which indicates uh, there is a reverse uh, connection happened in the solar panel. So th it, it is uh, telling you you connect properly. Okay. I'm connecting this wire to positive. I'll try to ensure that uh, it is less motionless. Then uh, you connect uh, negative. Now you see. See you connected. So now the water has started uh, connecting. Now you see, now you see, now there is a charging of uh, batteries happening from the solar. Okay? Now let's see if we can uh, power up uh, the sol uh, light LED bulb using this uh, inverter. We are taking a small uh, testing uh, thing for testing light. I have connected a LED bulb uh, to the output of this inverter. Let's see if I switch on the inverter, uh, how, uh, how it uh, gets the power. So let me switch on. This is uh, power on. If you power on, so inverter will output the uh, current to the external devices. So let me switch on this and see. So if you can see here, there is a LED bulb is glowing and it is coming from the solar panel. And uh, this is how uh, this brainy echo uh, inverter is going to work for you. Uh, basically, uh, this is uh, how we need to connect for the solar. Now let's see how we are going to connect for power supply. Okay? And I am going to explain you how we are going to, power to the, uh, connect to the, from the power supply and uh, see how it works. So if you can see here, uh, this is the uh, power uh, uh, which you can uh, connect the input from the AC, right? If you wanted to connect from the AC, you can use this one, right? If you connect uh, from the AC supply, use this uh, uh, connection so that uh, you can uh, read the power supply from the grid as well, right? Once uh, uh, earlier I've shown this works from the solar, and uh, if you do not want to buy any solar panels, you can directly connect uh, using this and. Uh, the power 
uh, on the main drain to the inverter and can store into the battery. Power supply, right? This one I'm going to connect it to the to this one. So how uh, we are going to connect to the power supply? Just connect to the power supply like this and see what happens. So now. power using electric as well. Let me connect the LED bulb. You can see here now the electric bulb is glowing uh, from the uh, grid and it is also getting uh, stored in the inverter. So I am with this, I am ending this video uh, on how we are going to connect uh, the inverter uh, yourself at home.